Let's talk about the insane comic where Joker is finally judged by God. This God is referring to the Spectre. The Spectre is the spirit of vengeance and is pretty much the living embodiment of God himself. He pretty much goes around and judges people who do bad and enacts his vengeance upon them. On the Spectre issue 51, this comic takes place in New York City with Batman gliding around and everyone being confused. Shouldn't he be in Gotham? It turns out Joker had escaped Arkham Asylum and ran to New York to go to a fan convention filled with people who are fans of the Joker. Now Batman had actually got the scoop that the Spectre was actually looking for Joker and wanted to get vengeance for all of the innocent lives that he took. As we see the Joker fan convention is filled with a bunch of psychotic people who idolize the clown. And we then actually see the Joker himself comes out on stage. Everyone roots and cheers Joker's name but he looks visibly agitated and goes on to say that Gotham would never do a fan club like this because they would be too afraid of what the Joker would do. The truth is Joker Joker doesn't want fans, he doesn't want anyone to appreciate what he does, so he then goes on to atomize a guy and then fills the entire room with Joker toxin. Like bro is really mad that he has fans, like come on bro I would love to have fans, I would love for you guys to subscribe to this channel if you love comic book content. Batman then arrives to the scene and tells Joker he's going back to Arkham, and Joker then tells his fans that if they kill Batman he'll let them all live, so they attack. Right before Joker can flee the scene, the Spectre arrives and tells Joker that he will judge him. He says, I am the wrath of God and your soul is overdue for cleansing. Joker mocks the Spectre as usual and Joker's fans then attack Spectre. Spectre then judges them by shooting them with fire. Literally bro, I mean like they did shoot first. I mean so like he kinda was right for what he did. Now Spectre then finally judges Joker and tells him he will be held accountable for each and every murder he has committed, but Batman rolls up and randomly just says no. Batman goes on saying Joker has a life and no matter how evil he is, no one has the right to take it from him. The Joker is sick. He belongs in a mental asylum. Spectre responds saying Joker is just going to escape and kill more people. How many innocent lives must be taken before we finally end a guilty one? I am the wrath of God and I have the right to extract vengeance for all of the people that Joker murdered. Batman arrogantly replies saying you are not my God and you have no authority over me or anyone else. Joker is innocent. He's a sociopath and he has no actual concept of right or wrong. How can someone sin unless they know they are sinning? If Joker was created to be a monster, how could you judge him for being a monster that he was created to be? Spectre then says, I will look upon his soul and see if he has a conscience to see if he truly knows right from wrong and then I will punish him accordingly. The Spectre then goes inside of their Joker and he sees nothing but chaos. Joker's mind is so evil and corrupt that Joker actually possesses Spectre's body and takes full control. Joker now having the powers of a god goes rampant in New York City, literally breaking cars, destroying buildings, literally catastrophic violence. Meanwhile, the Spectre is still inside of Joker. Joker's brain and he looks around for Joker's conscience and when he finds it he realizes that Batman was right. Joker has no conscience. The acts he commits aren't for evil intent at all. He just has no concept of right or wrong. Now guys Joker is still running rampant destroying buildings. He almost destroyed the Batmobile. Inspector realizes that the only way to stop this is to connect the conscience to Joker's brain and so he does just that. Once the conscience is connected, Joker immediately feels conviction and feels the pain and sorrow for every single person that he has murdered. Dear God, what have I done? Specter regains control of his body and Joker starts bawling on the floor, crying for all of the lives he's taken. Specter says that this sympathy won't last forever. Joker will push down the memories of all of his murders. However, deep down, it will always remain. Inspector did admits that Joker is beyond his scope of judgment because he technically isn't responsible for any of his actions. Batman then drags Joker off to Arkham. Now, Spectre then looks at the crowd of Joker fans and basically tells them that they are weirdos for worshiping Joker and that if they do it again, he will judge them. The comic then ends two weeks later with all of the Joker fans dressed up as the Spectre and they are now a Spectre fan club. I hope you guys enjoyed that comic. Batman really not wanting the Joker to be judged for his sins is absolutely insane. I kind of do agree with him because Joker isn't technically accountable for his actions because he's a sociopath. He doesn't know right from wrong, but bro, like he still needs to be put down. But anyway, what do you guys think about this comic? Make sure you like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'll catch you later. Peace.